that is my king uh pick that is making pictures from sound and i'm going to show you how you can do that too because i just taught myself how to do it and it's something very basic um but first of all what you're going to need is an oscilloscope or vector scope as some people call it um i've created one an xy oscilloscope and takes a letter converts your stereo into x and y coordinates so whatever's in your left channel will will come out on the uh, x and whatever's in the right channel will come out on the uh, uh, x on the y i can demo that in a sec i'll give you the link to that it's up there i'm also using a program called fruity loops um that i use to to record sounds with and, and shape sounds and i'm going to show you how to do that now i'm just going to turn on the the view i'm going to show you the basics of what the xy oscillator does oscilloscope does so that you can see it uh for yourself i'm just going to delete that as if i've uh just come into free loops and I'm starting a new project. Okay, so I want a, a, a something quite simple, like a simple synthesizer with um, that can do sine waves. So the, in free loops, we've got this three osc, three times oscillator, and that does sine waves nice and easily. So I'll just demonstrate that really quickly. Now I'm gonna show you what happens when I put it up output all the volume on the left channel so we see we get the uh, it draws along, along the x axis if i put it all the way on the right it draws a line on the y axis but i want for the top oscillator i'm going to leave on the x axis and the second oscillator i'm going to move over to the right axis so and turn up turn up its volume so now we get a diagonal line so it's a diagonal line now if I just move the because there's sine waves it should be uh, drawing a circle but but the uh, it's not because they're both completely in phase of each other I'm just going to detune one of them slightly okay and because the the circle's so large, I'm just going to turn the volume down a little bit on the uh, I think the the oscillator maybe. That's one way of doing it. I can also use the volume up here, and I can also use a desktop volume. But I'm just going to use use this one okay what I can also do is add a, th a third oscillator oh, okay well, let's just show the different kinds of things I can do I'll let you experiment because <laughs> it takes a long time to come up with something that is quite cool but, it, but if I add the third oscillator I should get some other variations as well I'll turn up its volume and Okay, let's see what happens when I change the waveform to a square wave. Doesn't sound very nice, but 
with my with my headphone for a bit. But you can um you know mess around with that as well. Like this. oscillator on the, on the website here um, there's a couple of, it might not work for you at first you have to um, if I just right click my speaker setting and press recording devices I need to make sure this stereo mix um, option is visible so you need to show disabled devices show disconnected devices and if it's still not there it means you need to update your drivers and you can update your drivers from Realtek HD audio driver drivers so you can update from the Realtek website here read the read the terms and uh, the terms and accept if you want and then then download and that's what I needed to do in order to see my stereo mix option okay uh, so I guess if you want to see more about this kind of thing just leave a comment and uh, thanks for watching like comment and subscribe and share and share yeah that's it. See you later.